5.2H, area of volume and temperature, volume of a cone. The volume of a cone is given by the formula volume equals one-third pi r squared h. In order to use this formula, we must know a few things about our shape. First, it is where the radius is. The radius is from the center to the edge of the circular portion of the cone. Next, the height is from the center of the circle to the tip of the cone. Knowing these two values will help us to find the volume of a cone in the following example. Example 1 asks to find the volume of the following cone. First, we need to label which pieces they have given us. We see that they have given us two feet, which corresponds with the diameter. We have also been given 24 feet, which corresponds with the height. Since we know the formula is volume equals one-third pi r squared h, we know that we need a radius and a height. Since we are given a diameter, we must find the radius, which is diameter divided by two. Diameter divided by two would be two feet divided by two, which would result in a radius of one foot. We may now put this into our formula. We now have volume equals one-third pi times one foot squared times the height of 24 feet. One foot squared is one foot squared. We now multiply this by the 24 feet, the pi, and the one-third. We multiply the one foot by the 24 feet, and we see that we would get 24 feet cubed. We can then divide this by three because of the one-third. This will result in a value of eight feet cubed. We still have to multiply this by the pi. When we replace in the value of pi with 3.14, we can now calculate the total volume. When we calculate the total volume, we find that we get a volume of 25.12 feet cubed, which is the volume of this cone. In the next example, we will be looking at a story problem which involves finding the volume of a cone. Example two asks how much ice cream can fit inside a cone that is five centimeters tall and five centimeters wide. Once again, it is very helpful to draw an image. Remember it asked only what can fit inside of the cone and not what would come out as a normal ice cream cone. We know that we need to find the height which it gave us as five centimeters. We also know that we need the radius, but what it gave us is the diameter. It stated that the cone is three centimeters wide. This means we must find the radius. Remember the radius is diameter divided by two, which means it's three centimeters divided by two, or it is 1.5 centimeters. We now have the radius and the height, so we can use our formula of the volume equals one-third pi r squared h to find the volume of this cone. We will plug in our values for r and h, r being 1.5 centimeters and h being five centimeters. We now need to start with the exponent in which 1.5 centimeters squared gives us 2.25 centimeters squared which we will still need to multiply by the five, the pi, and the one-third. Next, we will multiply it by the five. This will give us a value of 11.25 centimeters cubed. We still need to multiply by pi and one-third. In the next step, we divide it by three, which is the same as multiplying by one-third to give us 3.75 pi centimeters cubed. We now need to substitute in the value for pi being 
When we multiply this, we get an answer of 11.775 centimeters cubed. This is our final volume, or the amount of ice cream that we can fit inside of this cone. Remember when solving for the volume of a cone that you will need the radius and the height. If you are given a diameter, you must divide the diameter by 2 to find the radius.